Okay, now I actually wanted to do another attempt on the EVGA X299 Dark and the 7900X CPU on the white Runcer 1 billion once again, as that American guy called AKM, I think. He actually beat my best score, which I got during last time. So I wanna do another attempt on the white Runcer 1 billion because the CPU is definitely like capable of doing very nice frequencies, etc. But now I'm actually using four individual dual rank Samsung BDI DDR4 memory sticks. So 64 gigabytes of memory in total. Uh, dual rank is technically much better performing if the performance figures, so frequency and timings are at the same range. Based on my experience, you can generally run dual rank memory as high as single rank memory on the X299 platform as well as on the LGA3647 and even with common rate 1. On these uh, uh, enthusiast sockets, you can usually use common rate 1 just fine compared to uh, the issues we had on the mainstream platform when we usually had to use common rate 2 and so on. So I want to try four sticks of dual rank Samsung BDI and I also made some uh, improvements on the operating system itself to get the efficiency a, a tiny bit better. So let's see what happens. Otherwise the system is exactly the same. Kimping Cooling T-Rex, the latest revision, KPX thermal paste, uh, Galax 710 GT for uh, Monitor, signal with capture card of course, Superflower, Litex 8 pack, two, uh, 2000 watt platinum rated power supply and Kimping Cooling Inferno heater plate on the back side of the motherboard. So uh, we don't really need to push the CPU overly much, it's only about the memory to be honest. So I'll start a relatively easy settings and we'll see what happens. So uh, I'll Keep cooling down the container and I will meet you again inside the operating system with the capture card like before. Just one attempt. This is uh, so you can see 64 gigabytes, 3812, 11, 11, 26, con rate one. So kind of shows you can run roughly the same stuff. And that's already the new top score. After heating up everything, like uh, uh, melt the paste and everything, this is the new top score in Y Cruncher 1 billion with the 7900X, so 10 core category at 5.2 effective clock with dual rank memory at 3600. Pretty good. Max core temp 2 degrees, 5189 is the. Uh, uh, effective clock. I definitely want to try some more. The key would be the memory though. I'm not really happy like uh, as it's only at 3600 but this kind of proves how good dual rank memory is compared to signal rank definitely much better performance 3600 outperforms 3800 so uh, and even beyond 3800 
Okay, that's an incredible score. 19.487 at 5.276 effective, so around 5.3. Cash or the mesh should be 3.9. 3600, 12, 11, 11 with the dual ranks. Much better than what I got before, like 0.4 seconds faster. Incredible result overall. Okay, it actually went much better than what I expected at the start, although I had huge difficulties uh, at the beginning. I just couldn't get the uh, frequency as high as I wanted and the performance, well it was there but it wasn't as high as what I expected. I compared the single rank sticks against the dual rank memory sticks as you saw, the performance was at least half a second faster with the dual rank memory sticks. So this kind of proves that if you still run this platform, so the X299 even today in 2023, you should consider about getting dual rank memory sticks. They aren't so expensive anymore as most of the DDR4 gear is now kind of used. So you can easily get four very good Samsung BDI dual rank memory sticks. The ones I'm using at the moment, all of the four sticks are the G-Skill uh, Ripsos 5 4266 CAS 17 sticks. The sticks I already uh, covered on my channel some time ago. Uh, in the past. So these sticks are definitely awesome. I purchased extra kit from Sweden So huge thanks to Eden for helping me with this uh, memory. He actually advertised uh, In the sale thread that these sticks are recommended by me. So it was kind of funny I purchased DDR4 memory sticks that are supposedly recommended by me But yeah, so many runs that were much better than my previous best run in the white Runcer 1 billion in the Tenko category Huge result overall. I don't know what's the best result from AKM if he still has better runs in his USB stick. We'll see what happens. So uh, this will be it for now, I guess. I had some cracking issues during the session, what I didn't have that much on my previous session with the single rank memory sticks. So I definitely will be stopping right now because I don't want to waste too much LM2 on this stuff. I want to rerun the AMD Ryzen 7950X and I have some old stuff I want to test as well. So uh, I will definitely upload the scores on hardwarebot.org. So definitely check them out if you are interested in them or well in this one because it's only one score. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching one of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one.